Oh, a tiny bit. Do you know what AEW is? Like, I didn't really know what was going on. Like, there's obviously, like, people that are fighting. What's up guys, Metaphor here, and today we got another double Vondel gameplay, and honestly, if you guys are enjoying Vondel, this is going to be the norm coming coming soon, because in a couple days we're going to be getting the BR version of Vondel, which is going to be essentially the same thing, but one life only, and there's going to be a gulag and all that stuff, and you're going to have the boys collab with all this, the new superpowers, and what am I saying, man, but it's all coming to the game, uh, and I think, I don't, dude, I hope solos are back on Mazra. But I'm not going to get anyone's hopes up because I really don't know. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't be fully surprised if they weren't in the game on Wednesday. I really, really hope they are. Uh, a whole month without solos is insane in my opinion, but I don't really know what's going on. So I can't really speak too much on that. However, this is the build that I'm running in the gameplay. This gun's actually pretty good. Um, basically, these low, low, low recoil guns with the higher TTK are just way more impressive now. And the 545 AK falls into that category of low recoil, just more consistent. Kind of like the Lockman 556. Um, I would just say this is a good alternative to the Lockman 556 if you guys are bored of that gun. I haven't really used the Lockman that much because I just haven't been playing that much this month. So I don't really have much to say on that. But this kind of feels pretty good on Vondel. And yeah, I just was also running the pistols. As you guys have been seeing a lot lately, so... We'll quickly flash the build here, and that's pretty much it for the intro, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please leave a like and comment, guys. It really does help out a ton, especially because, you know, Warzone numbers are lower right now since a lot of interest is, you know, out the window. I will be returning to streaming soon. Don't worry. I've been streaming a lot of Tarkov. I know a lot of you guys come in from the channel and ask you why I'm not playing Warzone. I'm not quitting Warzone. Don't plan on quitting Warzone. Um... But yeah, it's just not really something I'm grinding eight hours a day on right now. So I usually just get on at the end of my stream and play for like an hour or two and get my video and get off. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Peace. You ever the funny on Fortnite? Yeah. Like like the uh the so what? Yeah. It's crazy. You know, I don't even play Fortnite, I knew about that. What was the uh one character and uh is it Chun Li? What? <laughs> yeah, Chun Li is insane. Oh, what is it? What's that character? Yeah, Chun Li yeah, from Chun -Li. Street Fighter. Yeah. There's a bind for that, but it's like really cringe. I just don't understand why really I can't. Complicated. Yeah, I don't know why I can't be what it used to be. UAV is bingo fuel. I'll see you at this time. I don't want to be the king anymore. 
I'm actually confused. Is he like cracked at Fortnite? Like, is he actually good? I have no idea. I've never actually seen him. Or is it like, is it like a meme? He's like good. Like, he's good. Oh, good. But he mainly gets used because he's just a huge meme. Tier wise. Yeah. Oh. You know the bomb drones like actually so good now with the health regen. You just shoot what somebody. You just hawk them down after? Yeah, you just you literally just hawk people down with this thing. Like, <laughs> it's so crazy actually. I haven't seen like anyone talk about it, but they're so OP now. You shoot someone one time and they're for seven seconds, like. down those cardies. I just got killed by the sniper bazooka from across the map. Dude, <laughs> he's like a tick sniper. I'm trying to find it so bad, and I'm coming dude, across it like dude, this. Dude, what? I was full HP, and the guy like it did. It, it was like kind of close to me, but like I wouldn't have gotten that kill type. Wait, that thing's OP. Like I know things strong, but things OP. <laughs> what are you watching? Dude, I'm trying to find the one clip, man. You're gonna go to the Fortnite Utopia concert. Dude, I hope that album is good. You see that merch side? He's launching with it. No. It's actually dropping like a really sick hoodie. You think so? Yeah. That should be cool. Did you guys listen to it? Yeah. 
blue would you listen to it? Yeah. Connie, Connie. No. Bro, the alarms that go off in uh, Bondo remind me of Tony Hawk Pro Skater when you're doing the school mission. For the, the school level. And you grind the yeah, thing. Yeah, I remember that. And it sounds like it, bro. No, I got the glitch. I don't know about 1v4 in, bro. It's once you get to late game, everybody's dropping like 20k. You would just have so much money on the map. Yeah. I'd say one in every like four. And that's like not even an exaggeration. Enemy dropping. I had a PC. So do you know anything about like uh, like wrestling or anything like that? Oh, kind of. Do you know what uh, AEW is? Oh uh, no. He's fighting um, a guy named Samoa Joe, and they haven't fought in like 20 years, and like that was like them fighting, and like apparently a lot of like their like fans are pissed because. This like legendary like rematch fight was happening in Regina. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh I don't know my brother like he's always like wrestling and stuff and he like, like he just like I was like yeah I'm gonna come with me to like go to like new movies and stuff to come out so like I'm not going by myself. And he's like he got these tickets like super long ago. It was actually pretty cool, I can't even lie. Like it's like one thing to see on TV, but like when you see them like actually like just even like basic like just like suplexes or like when they like oh, lift yeah, them over like their head and they slam them. Like, they know exactly like how they like, yeah. get up in the crowd. They get at what they do. Hey dude, it was cool and like they were kinda like beefing with Regina. They were like they were like <laughs> talking about how like they took three flights to get here and stuff and like they're just like beefing with the audience and stuff, like some of the people in between and stuff. And like, dude, it's like so hype every time you see like one of them like climbing up on the turnbuckle and stuff on the side. And you just know like something insane's about to happen. And like, I don't know, and it's actually like a really dope experience. And like, I've never like really even paid attention to anything like that. But like, dude, the, ch like, the crowd was like so. Cause it's the first ever major 
uh, like, wrestling event to ever happen in uh, Regina. So, like, there's been people who've, been, like, probably in the crowd who've been watching it for, like, 30 years, like, just wrestling in general. That, like, never got to experience a live event and, like, just going absolutely f ballistic, man. I don't know exactly what happened, but one of the... There was, like, six fights scheduled, but, like, one of the... There was, like, a fight between these two girls that was supposed to happen. It's for, like, they're doing, like, an Owen Hart tournament. I'm sure you know who Owen Hart is. Like, I'm pretty yeah. good to not know who that is, but... Yeah, so, they had, like, a tournament for him, and... The way the event worked was, like... There's, like, a tag team version of the tournament, a singles tournament, like, version of the tournament, and then, like... Like, a female, like, singles or whatever, and one of the... Like, one of the girls, like, got injured, so she couldn't do it. So I'm assuming, like, when they were, like, briefing their fights or whatever, they were like, okay, like, you gotta make sure, like, this fight, like, this fight has to go, like, a certain length or whatever. And, like, they did a tag team fight. And I do not know the tag team fight went on for, like, 30 minutes, man. Like, dude, it was insane. Like, again, it's like... I've obviously seen some stuff on TV, and it's like, it's like, whatever. But, like, they would do these moves and, sy like, synchronized moves where they're on opposite sides of the ring. But, like, they've clearly, like, practiced it. And they're doing the exact same move on, on, like, like, one, like, one tag team person is fighting the other guy, and the other guy, like, they're basically like, sharing the ring, all four of them at the same time, even though, like, like, I guess, I don't know, like, the actual rules behind it, but, like, even when you tag somebody in, there's, like, a grace period where you can... Like, both be in the ring at the same time or something. I don't know. But, like, it's still like when you tag somebody in, you, like, have to go out on the ropes or whatever and wait to be tagged back in or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, like, there's, like, the grace period where they can play it. And, like, they have, like, a 2v2 in the middle of the ring, and they were literally, like, mimicking their moves perfectly. It was, like... I And they weren't even, like, looking at each other. Like, it was, like... It was actually so, like, crazy. I, I was, like, watching, and I was, like, holy f Like, this, like... This actually looks unbelievably hard like yeah like unbelievably hard <gasps> nah but that that like wrestling stuff in general like got insane like newfound respect for me man if you ever get a chance to like go to like a live thing like that, man, I highly recommend it. It's it's actually so sick. We were sitting like near the front row too, so it was actually it was actually fire. And like at the very yeah, I remember back in the day, I used to see so much more advertisement for it on TV. Yeah. I know it's still really big, but I haven't seen advertisement. Yeah, recently. it's like it's like not as mainstream as like it used to be type. I don't know, cause like that's actually like a. There was actually like a lot of complaints towards this one not having like enough advertisement but like if you're in like the saskatchewan area because they're also doing one in saskatoon as well which is like pretty close to where i live uh like if you knew if you are like a fan of wrestling and you live in this area like there's just no way you wouldn't know about it because like if you're in the know you're in the know you know what i mean like yeah but yeah they definitely probably could have had like more non-wrestling people attend, I guess? I don't know. That is sick though, and they have like all their like entrances and stuff. Yeah, I've seen that a lot of you fire. Yeah, all that, yeah. It was actually sick. Like, I didn't really know what was going on, like, there's obviously, like, people that are fighting that are, like, crowd favorites and stuff, and people that, like, in general, they don't really like. Like, for example, like, everyone obviously loves the CM Punk guy. Yeah. And dude, yeah, I mean, he's super charismatic, like, he's, like, uh, he did, like, a thing at the start where he was just, like, speaking to everybody and stuff. Like, he can just, I don't know, man. It's pretty cool, like, I, I really don't even know what to say. The whole thing was just really sick.